My name is David Hurd. I am Professor of Modern Literature at the University of Kent in the School of English and I direct this MA in the Contemporary. Um, I am Samitra Upham and I'm the Curator of Education at the ICA. My name is uh, Ben Porter. Um, I'm currently studying as a part-time student, uh, studying uh, the MA in the Contemporary. My name is Lucy Pansaki and I'm studying the MA in the Contemporary. The MA in the Contemporary is a multidisciplinary program which attempts to engage contemporary culture in as wide and rich a way as possible. It is interdisciplinary precisely because we understand contemporary culture to cross disciplines and so we invite students to apply from a range of backgrounds uh, and this year we have students who have previously studied English and film and uh, the history and philosophy of arts and politics, a whole range of disciplines. Yeah. It mixes theory and practice in that the collaboration with the ICA allows students to engage with contemporary practice directly, mm -hmm. both through curating and through working with um, members of staff at the ICA and the whole pro set of programmes that the ICA has. Mm -hmm. It's theoretical insofar as the colleagues at the University of Kent are providing a theoretical and historical framework through which to engage contemporary questions. Mm -hmm. It's practice-based in the sense that students engage and discuss and learn from curators at the ICA about contemporary practice through the ICA's current existing programme. Um, there is also an opportunity to undertake um, an internship in the summer term um, where students will work in groups of four um, in the ICA studio supervised by myself to kind of realise or visualise some of the themes drawn from their dissertation proposals. Um, we hope that there will be a kind of practical output um, for those projects, um, which we hope will be a public-facing event for the students that will again take place um, in one of the largest spaces of the ICA, so either the theatre or cinema one. The only compulsory module uh, for the MA in the Contemporary is reading the contemporary. Um, this is an incredibly challenging module. It's, uh, it's very, very interesting and it just uh, basically uh, involves uh, a really diverse range of uh, artistic mediums, basically trying to get at the underlying question of what is the contemporary, what is contemporary art, uh, how do we read contemporary art and, the, and contemporary culture. It's taught by both colleagues from the University of Kent and colleagues from the ICA and it's giving students as broad an encounter with contemporary culture as we can manage mm. within a, a ten week period. Yeah. I was introduced to um, a number of contemporary artists that I've, I've never come across ever, <laughs> probably would never have come across at all. Um, particular ones that um, come into mind are um, some of the conceptual writers such as uh, Kenneth Goldsmith, who's uh, currently very uh, popular uh, in New York as the uh, laureate for the, uh, the modern art uh, museum in, in New York. I guess the ICA part of it all, the idea is that the students kind of learn about contemporary practice and critical thinking through the ICA's current programme of, of events and exhibitions and, and performances and they, through the sessions that take place here at the ICA, they have an opportunity to, <coughs> to listen and to discuss and engage with the curators here um, across various platforms including the curator of exhibitions, the curator of talks, um, Creative education, myself and um, our artist film curator to really get a kind of broad range and understanding of contemporary practice across disciplines and, and through what we're doing here at the ICA. For the MA there's only one core module which is the reading the contemporary module which is at the ICA. Other than that you do three modules. I've chosen uh, two in film and one in literature so you can choose any from the School of Arts or the School of English. Um, and then there's a dissertation topic at the end and if you're doing the MA in the Contemporary that fits in with a, an internship at the ICA which will be based around the work you're doing. Last time I finished the Reading the Contemporary module which was half based at the ICA in London so we alternate between having a seminar on the Canterbury campus and then travelling to the ICA where there'd be various uh, different galleries on sometimes in the ICA sometimes around London in the same area and there'd be a guest speaker on a relevant contemporary issue like uh, medicine or art and pornography or um, fashion and art. 
Um, so you have a different thing every week and you work through it either with David, one of his colleagues here, or someone at the ICA. For me, I've taken, uh, along with the compulsory module, um, a poetry course. I intend to take another creative writing course along with um, perhaps an art criticism uh, or film criticism. And al along with that, there is a number of other um, literature modules you can take, um, art modules, film modules. You know, um, there's a really fantastic uh, range of opportunities for you over those uh, one or two years. I think the great thing about that is that it basically offers you the opportunity to decide yourself what exactly you, you what it is you want to learn. The third term is when you do your dissertation topic, which ties in with uh, the internship at the ICA. And I'm doing a film dissertation topic, so I'll probably be in the film department at the ICA, fittingly. And so I'm hoping to do my dissertation on the representation of landscapes in contemporary British cinema and how it relates to notions of wickedness and national identity. So I'll be looking at like, Ben Wheatley, Ben Rivers, Peter Greenaway, Mike Lee, that kind of crowd. The ICA also offers an internship at the end of the degree in third term while you're writing your dissertation. So if you want to sort of continue working in that environment, you've got a kind of way into that kind of employability. There are two objects, I think, that the, the MA has. One is to prepare students for a route through to PhDs. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a very natural progression that they could make from MA to PhD. Mm -hmm. But what we're also offering is a vocational route. Mm -hmm. So as well as uh, taking the, the array of MA modules that are available to students, they take the, inter the internship that yeah. you've described. And this would, this would enable them to go on and one way or another prepare, prepares them for a career in creative industries and the arts more generally. Mm -hmm.